Hello, in the next episode, today I'm going to show you how to fix three Nintendo Switches. My customer brought me three of them. We don't know what's wrong with it, so we're going to figure out. Let's start from the yellow one. Okay, first let's have a look at the charging port. We've got some pins, we've got some bent pins inside. But before we replace the USB-C port, let's measure the caps near USB-C power management IC. Let's check them first if they are good. All good, all good. All seem to be good. Yeah. Let's check the fuse. It's good. So it's in 99% the charging port issue. So let's replace it. I'm applying the load melt solder to each solder point in order to remove the charging port. So, hot air 470 degrees, air flow 75. Now we need to resolder the pins on the back of the USB-C port. And let's clean the flux, because it's everywhere. Alright, the moment of true. It's time to test our job. Perfect. Let's flip it over. And brilliant. Time to assemble it back and test.
got a charging site in the left corner. Yes, we've got it. So it's charging right now. Let's flip it over. Yes, charging. All right. Let's take another job. All right, so the yellow switch has been repaired. It was just the charging port issue. So we replaced the charging port and now it's, it's, it's charging. So I'm going to leave this plugged and test after the battery will be half charged. All right, let's take another one. All right, so let's fix the blue one. Alright, and again, let's have a look at the charging port. If you can see any bent pins inside. The top row is good, but the bottom one is no good. Alright, so some pins are bent at the bottom, and let's test the cups around. Uh, the power management I see. Got one beep, so we've got one shortage capacitor. Have we got any more? So we've got one beep here. This is the problem of the power management I see. The rest is good. The rest is good, just this one. So which tells me that this is a problem with the, with the power management I see and the charging port. So we need to replace both of them.
Right, so let's clean this a bit. Let's, re let's remove the flux. Alright, so let's test it without replacing the power management IC. So it's not charging. Let's flip it over. And other side takes only 5 volts. It should be 15. It should be 15. Yeah, nothing. It's not charging. This side on charging only 5 volts. Okay, so let's replace it now and see if that makes any difference. So we need to prepare the chip at the moment and I'm applying the flux and solder to all parts. This process is going to make me easier other processes. Right. Flux, freshly prepared chip and hot air 470 degrees 75 airflow let's apply the flux again Right, the chip has been replaced, so let's clean it, and let's test it now. And we've got 15 volts on one side. 15 volts on one side, yeah, it's good, so let's flip it over, and we got exactly the same, 15 volts and now it's 0 amps, it's perfect, now it's perfect. Let's check this again, yes close to zero amps. Yes, perfect. Alright. Let's assemble it a bit and test it.
yes, we've got a charging sign, so it's good. Let's check the other side. Yes, yes, we've got it. We've got it. Alright, so another switch has been repaired, so we need to charge it a bit and the same. Leave it leave it for a while and then test it. Alright, let's take another one, the grey one. Alright, so let's have a look at the charging port again. Alright, the pins at the bottom, they don't look good. Let's check the M92T36, so this is our power management IC. Check the cups around, it's all good. Yeah, all good. So it's just a charging port issue. Let's replace it quickly. Alright, 
the moment of truth. It's perfect. To the other side. Yes, it's perfect. It's perfect, yeah. So I'm assembling the grey one. Yes, we've got a charging side in the left corner. Let's flip it around. And yes, the other side also charging good. Alright, so all three of them are charged enough to test them properly. The blue, the yellow one. Is is working. So I hope you enjoyed of this video. Please like and subscribe if you like it, uh, or leave the comment below. See you next time.